Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, in this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make text like this with this glow that I think is just beautiful. Um, yeah, see how it's just only glowing on the corners there, on the second step of the text outside. Yeah. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to delete this. Start from scratch. Start with making a text object in MoGraph and just change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to do text in capitals for now. Font will be. I'll make it perfect dark font because it just looks good for logos and, te and just titles and things because it's like joined and it just looks good, you know. Uh, make the depth 70. I just like 70. I think it's my favorite depth. Um, increase the height a little bit. Yeah. Um, then we go to caps. Fillet cap for both. Change the radius to 15 for both as well. And then change the fillet type to two steps. So it's more blocky. You don't want it round, otherwise the glow would just look stupid. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Now we go on to the colors. I don't really make my own materials. I don't know how to do that stuff yet, but I'm going to learn through tutorials probably, just like you guys. Um, just go to, I've got, yeah, I don't know if you guys will have this, but I'm using R11.5, so just go to load material presets, broadcast, resources, materials, glossy, and then choose glaze blue, I like the glazes, they're my favourite out of all of these. But yeah, glaze blue. Um, then go back in there and get plastic glossy, which is just like a glossy white, and it's plastic as well, which is quite good. Um, then go to effects and get faded floor blue. They're all pretty good. Golden and red can be pretty good. Well, just depending on what different colors you use and shit. Um, this one's really good as well, CS Tool Flux Electrical Blue. That is, um, looks pretty cool. I will not be sh showing you that now. Can't be bothered. Too lazy. Um, yeah, just, just take that. Chuck that on. Chuck that on as well. And just click on it, and then go to Selection, and choose C and type in C1 in the selection down here. And now, it'll only cover the front, so you might just take off ambient occlusion. So yeah, just colors the front. Then, add that on there, and make sure it's in the middle of the plastic glossy and the blue. And, yeah, you don't need to put any selection on that. Now, it looks awesome. So we got the glow there. It's not quite bright enough, I don't think. So just go down to your color and just wait, wrong one. Sorry. Yeah, go down to your um glow color that you're using. Click on glow and tick the box, and then change the inner strength to 300%. And out of the 300 as well, and leave everything else the same. That'll just make the glow better. You can see. Um, and then just get a light that back a little bit, not too far, just so that it lightens up the text. Oh, it's lagging a little bit as well. Alright, and then tick ambient illumination. That's what I do. I think it makes it look real without actually having to add a sky in. Um, I'm just going to put a floor.
Okay, that looks fucked up. The fuck. All right, yeah. Got to add the. For people that don't know how to put in ambient occlusion, just go to in your render settings effect, and then add ambient occlusion. Global illumination is really good, but I only use it for logos because it takes a long time to render. Am ambient occlusion just makes it look a, a lot more real. And then I changed the maximum ray length to 160 and contrast to 35. Now this will look pretty good, I think. Might take a little bit to render this all, honestly. You can see it's looking pretty nice and glossy, pretty real. Red looks pretty good in the text as well. I just chose blue because I don't know. I just did didn't really think much about it. It was the first one there, so got a nice reflection there. This looks really glossy. Still got the blue glow there as well. There. All right done in a second. The ambient occlusion just adds that nice shadow there that just makes it look like it's actually there. Here we go, the glow will come in a second. Looks really nice. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Anyway, and then with the light, there's a lot of different a lot of different effects that you can put on. It just changes it. You should just play around with these a little bit. I only just learned about this stuff not long ago. I actually had no idea this stuff was here. Never even thought about using it actually. Uh what was that? Um like this. You got your different lights that you can use. I don't really know how to use them that well, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave it inactive for now. Um, yeah, so with the shadow, I like to put on, um, shadow maps, just for this text. I just tried it out before, and I thought it looked pretty cool, and I was like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna add this as well. Just lift it up a little bit so you can see what it actually does. I'm using um, Camtasia Studio Recorder. It's pretty good. Just downloaded it before. Yeah, so it's pretty good. You can see there's a bit of a sh bit of shadow happening around there. I think another thing this light does, adding that ambient illumination thing on, makes the floor really white. This looks really good. Really, I don't know, it's good, you know? It's good. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. You just play around with that sort of stuff there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, subscribe to Never Not GFX and look in our sub box. Subscribe to the individual channels of the owners of the channel, Seizure XX and Jezza HD. We are both very proud of our channel and. I'm very proud of my beautiful text that I've created and I've shared with you guys. So yeah, enjoy.